Today's virtual exploration starts on the Isle of Wight at Bembridge, and then we'll head across to Selsey, and then on up to Midhurst in Sussex. Bembridge Airport opened in 1920 and was well established by the time it appeared in the AA Landing Grounds Guide. It was available for private and scheduled traffic, with services to the mainland provided by Spartan Airlines, Channel Air Ferries and others. All operations ceased at the beginning of the Second World War and the field was obstructed to hinder its use in any German invasion. The airfield reopened after the Second World War, but airline services did not resume. In the early 1950s, John Britton and Desmond Norman created the Britton Norman Company, which has been involved with Bembridge Airport ever since. The first aircraft they built, the BN1 Finney B, was not a great success. The cantilever undercarriage collapsed on the first flight, and the aircraft was extensively rebuilt, including a larger engine. They also ran a company, Crop Culture, who converted Tiger Moths and other aircraft for crop spraying. They eventually found great success with the Britain Norman Islander, a rugged, small airliner of which over 1,200 have been produced so far. They also built a curious three-engine derivative called the Trilander and also the Nymph, but only a prototype of that aircraft. As of 2022, the Islander is still in production, with some parts being made at Bembridge. The original pre-war airfield, as outlined in the AA guide, still remains as part of Bembridge Airport. The Isle of Wight has a rich aviation, maritime and transport history. It's a very suitable destination for an Aronka C3 adventure, so make sure you subscribe. Selsey Bill is a low headland in West Sussex, a few miles south of Chichester. Norman Holden of Norton Priory laid out a fine flying field, complete with hangar. Holden owned Saunders Row, Saro, Cutty Sark Amphibian, which was built on the Isle of Wight at Cowes. Later he owned a de Havilland leopard moth, which actually still survives. The airfield closed in 1939, but in 1943 it was incorporated into the much bigger Selsey Advanced Landing Ground. It was then used continuously until the end of the Second World War. One of the earliest kills on D-Day was made by Johnny Hulton flying a Spitfire from Selsey. Incidentally, the Spitfire he was flying, ML407, still survives and has been owned for many years by the Grace family. The civilian airfield did not reopen after the war. It all returned to agriculture, and Norman Holden sold the estate in 1947. The town of Midhurst is about 20 miles north of Selsey. In 1928, Her Grace the Duchess of Bedford bought a large country house, Whispers, just north of Midhurst. Aged 63 and accomplished in many fields, she had recently taken up an interest in aviation, purchasing a Fokker F7 airliner for her personal use. In 1929, she undertook a record-breaking flight 
with pilot Charles Barnard and engineer Bob Little, from Lim to Karachi and back to Croydon Airport in eight days. In 1930, she bought her own gypsy moth and learned to fly in it. A landing field was constructed at Whispers so she could fly between Whispers and the family seat at Woburn Abbey. Sad to relate, by the time the airstrip appeared in this edition of the AA Landing Grounds Guide, Her Grace the Duchess was dead. In March 1937, she flew from Woburn Abbey up over Norfolk. For some reason, the aircraft appears to have crashed in the sea off Great Yarmouth. Parts were washed ashore, but the Duchess was never seen again. <laughs>